There is a barrage of data and abstraction peppering you non-stop in the modern world. The internet has vastly increased our access to information, but in so doing, it also allows us to see through our dogmas and realize that our preconceived certainties are not so certain. Wave after wave of uncertainty start to pile up, and we can be left thrashing in the surf, grasping desperately for a rock to cling to, and finding only water. This really bothered me as I'm searching for truth, and it's very hard to find, but I've come to a realization, as I dove down to the math and looked at how math is structured, that was my last kind of bastion of hope for concrete truth. It turns out that our axioms are just kind of made up fluffy nonsense. The actual definition of an axiom is a statement involving undefined terms. That's one of the definitions. And so I realized it's like, well, right now, pragmatically, I've just accepted that I gotta learn to surf, baby. That's my solution. Learn to surf. I don't know what's going on. Everything's very confusing. I'm uncertain, but you gotta give yourself permission to act, despite not knowing what's gonna happen. And on that note, let's go make some money, baby. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Let's go. Get going. Get going. Come on. I don't, I don't know where it came from, yeah. No idea where this, uh... Oh my god! You can fly? He rocks in the treetop all the day long Hopping and a-bopping and a-singing his song All the little birds on J. Bird Street love to it Alright, just had an absolutely classic floor of the library power nap. Now I'm ready to go. I mulled over the plan, I'm gonna lay it out. I'm excited. Came up with a little diagram, so we're gonna go to the blackboard in the engineering building and lay out what the cheddar procurement flowchart is gonna look like. Robin, go tweet, 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 rock and robin, tweet. Let's go, baby. All right, and welcome to our cheddar procurement protocol episode numero dos. So I did a little pondering, did a little, did a little contemplating in the library when I had a little nap. Trying to come up with like organize my thoughts, you know, and put them in mathematical uh, terms because this is autodidact. So what we're trying to do is maximize cheddar over time. D cheddar over DT, maximize that. And there's two general methods of cheddar procurement. Number one, the linear model, wage. Starts at zero, so you can start this at zero, but it's linear. Right? It's a linear graph. So D cheddar over DT is linear. So you're not really, future term growth is kind of prevented. You're not taking advantage of the exponential nature of the universe. But this is necessary to build your initial capital base. Because if you're starting at zero, you need to do the linear model initially. So a job of some type, build that up. So then you have a capital base of some sort to operate. There are businesses you can start with zero dollars, but a lot of time having capital is much more useful. Okay. Second type, my personal favorite, pretty clutch type, honestly, is uh... So in this type, you must start not at zero, and so this is time, cheddar. You can't start at, at, at the, on the y-axis, you have to have some level of cheddar to begin. So you can't start at cheddar equals zero, you have to start at t equals zero, you have to start somewhere up here. But you're starting with a little bit of cheddar, and you have to invest it in the business, so the cheddar is gonna deplete initially, so you're a little bit of a dip down, but then eventually, if you continue, and there's a, there's a lot of ingredients that cause this to happen, it'll actually go like this. And that is an exponential curve, ladies and gentlemen, and that is how we're gonna be able to afford an editor and get some other goals done. But, initially, you need to bring some linear money in, and I see there's two buckets. You have this bucket, this fills up linearly. This bucket, it's doing this exponential thing, so it's like, whoa, so it hits a critical point. So you gotta get this, get a good idea, of course, get, try to find the best function you can, and then pipe this bucket into this bucket. So you start pouring this bucket into this bucket as much as you can, work on this as much as you can, and then eventually go. So ideas for that right now, uh, videography for businesses, that could be the linear and bit of an exponential, but mixing the two, but these are the two categories. So how we're gonna try to do it, I'm gonna be looking for optimizing for linear models right now to get in a constant thing, maybe a passive job like a security guard. So maybe I can edit on the job or something like that. So I can just be like sitting at a desk and like, you know, there's lots of jobs like that. And then find ones like this. We're gonna go over these in another video because there's a ton of different options you can try. And also the risk here is a bit higher. So there's, there's risk involved, but that's just uh, part of the game. All right, I'm gonna have to edit this later. It's gonna suck. Yeah, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Join the movement. You are very early right now. We are just getting started, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, hope you hop aboard the ship, strap in. It's gonna be an absolutely exponential ride. Fun ride. 
gonna be a mathematical ride. It's gonna be a tropical ride. It's gonna be an absolutely tropical ride, let me tell you. So without further ado, take it easy. I love you. Godspeed, and I will see you in the next one, which is gonna be tomorrow. Rock and Robin. Rock and Robin, cause we're really gonna rock up tonight. Every little swallow, every chickadee, every little bird in the tall oak tree, the wise old allow the big black crow, flap of their wings, sing and go, bird, go, rock and robin. Rock and robin. Go, rock and robin.